There was a time when Venerable Sari Buddha passed away. Venerable Nanda heard that it was he went to tell the Buddha. He was very upset. The Buddha asked him, when Sari Buddha passed away, did he take virtue with him? Did he take concentration, discernment? In other words, did he take the good things in life? And the answer, of course, is no. The good things in life are things that we can do, not so much what we get from other people. And it's good to remember that when someone's passed away. It's one of the reasons why the Buddhist, tradi Buddhist tradition is that when someone has passed away, you make merit to remind yourself generosity is still here, virtue is still here, meditation is still here, there are still good things we can do. Human life is worth living. And then we dedicate that merit to the people who have passed. And that way everybody benefits. If they accept it, they get the merit too. If they don't, well, we have even more merit. So take some time to meditate to get the mind in good shape as you dedicate the merit to someone else. You want the merit to go with a lot of force and a lot of power. To reflect on what a good thing it is that we have this opportunity. We've had another day. And another day where we, where we can make an auspicious day. As the Buddha said, the days are auspicious not depending on events outside or what the stars do or what other influences from outside do. It's what we do with our own thoughts or words and deeds. So we've got that opportunity to make the most of it. It's in this way that we keep reminding ourselves that we have to keep looking inside for the good things in life. Things outside are just the results of the good things we do. So keep looking to the source. Our intentions to find a happiness to, that doesn't come from anybody, a happiness that's lasting. A happiness that spreads its goodness all around. And try to make yourself cheerful that we do have this opportunity still, no matter who's here or who's gone. These qualities are still in the world. After all, the Buddha's passed away, and yet his teachings are still alive. The opportunity to practice his teachings is still with us. So hold on to that as what's really worthwhile in life.